All right, here is my recording of my conversation with the Clallam County Sheriff Officer Heck. Okay, Deputy Heck wants me to call him back. Let's give him a call. Hey, Sheriff Deputy Heck here. Hello. Hey, how's it going today? It's going awesome. Good, good. So I would like to meet up with you and talk to you at some point today if we're going to do that. Why can't you just tell me on the phone? Well, I've got some paperwork here that I'd like to look at. And then what I, kind of paperwork is it? Uh, so I'd like for you to take a look at the restraining order that I've got here with me. From... Uh, it's like December 1st or 4th or something like that. What? December 1st or maybe 4th or so. It's, it's hard to kind of read some of this chicken scratch handwriting on these things. Looks like December 1st. What's it? Who is it? Well, it's between you and Brooke. Wait, why do I need to look at that? Well, it seems as though you violated it today. And I'd like to get a chance to kind of walk you through it so we make sure it doesn't happen again. Is that all this is about, or are you going to throw me in jail? Well, do you feel like you broke the law? No. And if you didn't break the law, there'd be no reason to throw you in jail, right? Well, you know what? What I think is breaking the law and what the law thinks is breaking the law are two different things. And I'm not interested in going in the pokey because I reached out to my wife on our anniversary and told her exactly how I feel. Okay. And I didn't threaten her. I don't know if you read what I said. I'll be happy to send it to you. If you want to see what it is I said, I'm not going to jail for that. I'm trying to get my wife back. I'm trying very hard, but apparently my attempt didn't work. So no, I'm not going to meet with you because I think that you're not telling me the truth and that you intend on slapping me in jail. I ain't going to jail for reaching out to her and trying to help her and making a final plea on our anniversary of 21 years to please reconsider what she's doing. That's all I did. So Shannon, what I was hoping to do was sit down with you, uh, confirm that you actually sent these text messages, or the text message, sorry. Um, and I can read it all to you. Um, no, I'm not interested in that. Um, just do what you gotta do. I'm over the order with you here. Look, just do what you gotta do. Sir, I'm not trying to make things difficult for you. I'm having a hard, 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 hard time with all of this. I get that. I am the one. I am the one living on the street in the cold. She's not. Obviously, obviously, when I reached out to her, obviously when I reached out to her and told her that. By her response, I will know how she really feels about me. Well, this is her response. She called the police straight away and told them that I tried to contact her and reached out to her. Of course, she didn't tell you what I said, but now I know for sure where she is. Now I know for sure that she does want me gone forever. She doesn't want me she doesn't want anything to do with me. She will do anything to get rid of me, including calling you to tell you that I broke a restraining order. I really don't even give a damn what the judge does. I'm just trying to save my life and my wife. And I can't help it if the law doesn't agree with what I'm doing. Love is greater than the law. I'm sorry. It is. I love her. I want her back. I know she's not coming back now because she called the police instead of talking to me. So I will deal with it. 
I'm not going to go turn myself in. Bullshit. Track me down and throw me in jail for doing what I did. I'm recording this whole damn conversation. I'm going to post it online just so people know the bullshit I'm going through. So I'm done talking to you. Goodbye. All right. Well, that didn't go well. Okay. And there we have it. So it's only been an hour. I'm waiting for the cops to come flying up here. I put it on, I turned my location off on my phone, but I don't know what they're capable of. I don't know what he's going to do. Hopefully, I sent him some texts between little airplane mode sessions where he couldn't track me. Hopefully, God, I don't know what they can do. But anyway, I took it off airplane mode, sent him a text, turned it back on. I sent him the text I sent to my wife. I'm going to post that text to JW Reddit, XJW Reddit. And I'm putting all of this stuff online. I am going to do it myself. I'm not relying on anybody except Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit and myself. Somebody's got to do it. It's obvious to me that I need to do this by myself. I don't know why, I just do. I don't want to, I need help, but I need to rely on Jesus, and he's taught me that. I gotta rely on him, and the Holy Spirit, and of course, Jehovah God. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm doing it by myself, and I, I, I'm i sure it's going to be a success because what else can it be? I have a story to tell and I'm going to tell it. All of it. Every bit of it. I hope you guys have a good day. You want to see what I look like? Let me see if I can do this. Let me turn it around. So this is me. This is the eye that just got smashed on uh, Christmas Eve. I got punched out by somebody who didn't like my driving. And I deserved it. Because I was a jackass that day. Worst day of my life. But, you know what? He didn't press charges. I didn't press charges. I forgive the guy. I wish I could find him so I could apologize to him for the stupid thing I did and maybe I could gain him as a brother maybe the point is I survived it and I learned from it and man did I learn I need to focus so anyway I hope these videos help people that are going through what I'm going through I was an elder. I was a pioneer. I was happily married for 21 years. I gave it all up when I learned the truth. I gave it all up and gave my life to Jesus Christ. I'm a born again Christian now. I have to stick with this. There's nothing else. I hope somebody reads this. I hope somebody watches this. I hope I can help anyone, just anybody, to get out of her. Get out of JW.org. Get out of her. Get out of false religion altogether. There is no religion. There's only Jesus. He is the way. He is the truth. And he is the life. You can't get to the Father except through Him. That is the truth. Everything else is a lie. Religion is a lie. Organized religion is a lie. It's all apostate. All of it.
please think about it. Please, please pray, pray about it. I'm going to sign off.